Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. 2018 Fireballs here, back with another MLB 9 Innings 22 video. We are back with the showcasing series today. Now, before I get into it though, I do need to make this clear. The format for showcasing will still be the same. You will still be able to be a part of the showcasing series if you'd like, and you can do that by subscribing to the channel, leaving a comment down below with your team name, and then last but not least, being sure you send a request in the game the 2018 fireballs now i will still be taking requests and i have a spreadsheet linked in my description box down below right now with all the teams that i need to showcase i have plenty of teams that i need to catch up on and it's going to take some time before i get to one of your guys's teams those who are just commenting on this video it's probably going to be a while with that being said i will do my best to go through as many teams as i can as fast as possible while still at the same time giving the best evaluations and giving the best tips, advice, and ways to improve all of your guys' teams. Uh, I really look forward to helping you guys out, but I just wanted to make that clear. Uh, it will take a long time for me to get to new teams, and I may not even be able to put you down on the list yet. I will take note of your comments and make sure I get all of your comments marked down below, but just make sure that you guys send a friend request when you can it may say my list is full, and I'm sorry if it is. That's just mean, that just means I'm really busy and I have so many other teams to go ahead and showcase. But I hope you guys understand. I look forward to showcasing your, your teams. So feel free to leave a comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and then send a friend request to my account, 2018 Fireballs, in the game. With that being said, we have three new teams today. Let's get into them and see what we got. All right, so the first team we have up today is Court Jester. He runs a Houston Astros S set deck with a Diamond S set deck. So let's get straight into his team, starting with the leadoff man, Carlos Correa 2015. I have this exact same card on my Astros team. 66 base, really nice card. Train is looking pretty good right here. 13 to the right side, 17 contact, 14 power, and 13 to I. Would have liked to seen that power to be the first to special training, but let's see what kind of skills he has. Slugger Instinct Prediction could use a little work. Uh, for this Carlos Correa card, the ideal skills, since I do have this card, I, I do know a little bit better about it and how to make it perform well. I would conclude that Spotlight, Slugger Instinct, and Charisma are really the three main skills you want to get on this card. Batting Machine is a fourth, but Barrel It Up is really not an ideal skill because of the low contact and the low speed. It is possible. I do have Barrel It Up on my Correa, but because his eye is so low and his contact is so low, you're better off training for a high power, high eye train instead of going for barrel it up. So for, for this card, your train is spot on with 13 to the right side. Uh, just later down the road in the far future, I would go ahead and retrain him for more power, uh, higher eye, and then skill change him to a skill set that has either Slugger Instinct or Charisma, Spotlight Charisma, Spotlight Slugger Instinct, or even Slugger Instinct Batting Machine. Any of those four skills combined would work really good on this card. Uh, love what I'm seeing here though. Great start to your lineup. Second in the lineup is a Jose Altuve 2017 Prime. Love the train right now. 10 to the right side, 19 to power, 13 I, and 15 to contact. Would have liked to seen I get that second uh, special training points distributed to it. Uh, so that's the only critique I have as far as the train. Skills though, barrel it up, charisma 5 to a player. Okay, now I see why you went with more contact. In this case, since you do have the barrel it up skill, you definitely want to go contact second here. Uh, his speed is a little low, but I'm pretty sure if you upgrade him to Black Diamond and fully max out his special training, he will definitely hit that Barrel It Up bonus once you maximize his potential. So definitely keep the skills, keep the train. This is an awesome card. I really wish I had his prime on my team. And batting third in the lineup is a signature Doug Raider, 68 base card, 13 to the right side. Excellent train right here. 14 to power, 16 to eye, and 14 to contact. Now, since I is a little bit lower than power and contact, uh, I do find it okay that you went 16 to I. Uh, power 1 is ideally what you want, uh, but contact takes second here, so you may want to retrain this in the future. But let's look at the skills here. Slugger Instinct Spotlight and Barrel It Up. Alright, I see why you have higher speed. You do get the Barrel It Up bonus, which is really nice. Um, my personal preference, though, would be to retrain this card later down the line. Uh, not in the near future. This card probably performs really well with a triple three set. The skills probably suffice for the um, mixed train here. Uh, this is still a very good train, don't get me wrong. 
but I personally would retrain this later down the line for Power 1, Contact 2, and I3, while still getting as much I as you possibly can. It's going to be a difficult train, but it's doable with enough resources. Batting 4th in the lineup, George Springer 2019, 12 to the right side, excellent trains on all these cards so far by the way, 15 to Contact Power and I, so the special training here, as you guys can see, since all three of the main hitting stats are the same, the distribution to special training will go to the highest base stat first. So it goes power one, contact two, I three. Now, looking at the skills, batting machine, barrel it up, and prediction. He doesn't get the barrel it up bonus, so I can see why you didn't go with maximizing barrel it up. Batting machine's a good skill. Uh, prediction is an underrated skill in my opinion. So let me know how this does. I don't want to crit critique this too much. This is a really nice train, a uh, really balanced train, honestly. And the skills, it seems like he would get a lot of base hits and have a high on base percentage in ranked battle. Uh, let me know. I like the looks of this skill set. I don't know how it performs. I don't really have experience with batting machine level 8. But I do know that prediction gets a lot of on base percentage. But beautiful card right here. Love what I see. Fifth in the lineup is a 2019 Alex Bregman. His best year would be awesome if you got in his SIG. 7 and 6 to the right side. 13 in total. Train, I would really like to see that power be level 1 or uh, prioritized first since it is so high on the base stats and he has high eye and high contact already. So I would honestly suggest a retrain for this card as soon as possible because he's the best Alex Bregman you can get and you want to make him the best he can possibly be with the highest amount of power so he hits more home runs. Bad wall hitter, slugger instinct, barrel it up. So another skill uh, card with barrel it up, you don't hit the barrel it up bonus here. And if you don't know, most people theorize that barrel it up bonus is either 100 speed, uh, 100 contact, or 220 contact plus speed, or 240 contact plus speed. Uh, I might be wrong, it might be 225 contact plus speed. But either way, he doesn't reach the max uh, bonus for barrel it up, which would be 240 pl uh, speed plus contact, and he doesn't have 100 speed either. So I would personally just retrain this. Barrel it up as a third skill is great. Bad ball hitter as a legend skill. I've heard is awesome haven't had it on any cards yet but i know from hearsay and from other players this skill set does amazing so great skill set only critique here would be to retrain for higher power and go contact second since it is the lower uh, of the three hitting stats and i third that'd be best sixth in the lineup is a yuli guriel 2019 i also have this card on my astros team i also have a very similar train to this 12 to the right side 21 to i 14 to power 10 to contact. Uh, I went I1 on my Yuli Guriel, and so did you over here, which I'd like to see. 21 I makes up for all that lost I in the base stats. And his grade increase is also good. Looking at the skills, Slugger, Batting Machine, Master Base Thief. A good skill set. Master Base Thief could be a, a decent third, but he will definitely get on base a lot more with that high I train. The good power and the decent contact will also uh, balance this card out very nicely. So I won't I won't really critique this card other than maybe getting charisma instead of batting machine. Uh, the skills could be upgraded a little bit, but for now, since he's just a regular diamond and his train is pretty much spot on, I would say keep this card the way it is. Batting seventh in the lineup, you have a Tucker 2020 card. Not his best year. His 21 and 22 cards are better, but you have an awesome train on him going I1, contact two, and power three. Would like to see that power, like I said, with other cards be second or third. It's good that you went I first since it is significantly lower than contact and power. Looking at the skills, Charisma Batting Machine, a good skill set. Not a great skill set, but it's a good enough skill set. So, man, 12 to the right side is such a nice train, but same like Bregman. I wouldn't prioritize him over Bregman, but keep him in there in that zone where Bregman is. Uh, maybe train him, retrain him after you do Bregman. Uh, that also depends on what your pitchers look like, but I would definitely go for Power 1, I2, Contact 3 or even I1 power 2 contact 3. The choice is yours. Uh, that would be my only suggestion for this card, and maybe getting a good third skill later down the line. But like I said, there are more Kyle Tuckers out there, so you could end up pulling a smaller uh, upgrade rather than the 2020. You could pull the 2021 or even the 2022. Batting 8th in the lineup is a non-team card, Prime Aaron Judge. Now, this is one of the best cards to have in your lineup if you don't have a better 25th or 26th man, and if you're not a Yankees team, one of the best cards to have in your lineup. 13 to the right side, contact one, I2, power three. Uh, 
I can understand why you went I third. His power is so high that even with power going third to special training, he still has insanely high power. Um, but that I does suffer a little bit, and I can understand why you went with contact one if you have barrel it up, but you don't. Okay, so he's a non-team card. I wouldn't invest too much into him. I would honestly just keep him the way he is. Uh, look to replace him with a team card that could be um, what position? He's in right field, so you could replace him with a couple other outfield cards. Uh, Jordan Alvarez would be an excellent card to replace Aaron Judge with, especially his 2022 card, which is a beast of a card. I believe it has 82 base power, high contact, and high eye. So keep this Aaron Judge in your lineup for as long as you can. Don't use any skill changes on him. Keep the train. It's pretty solid, and it will do you well enough for now until you can replace him with a better team card. Batting ninth in the lineup is a signature Jason Castro Black Diamond. His best catcher year, his only signature card, 13 to the right side, 15 power, 15 eye, and 14 contact. And I like this train right here. Power 1, I2, contact 3. Excellent job with that distribution for special training. Keep it the way it is. Spotlight, Charisma, Training Junkie. Pretty much a perfect skill set other than Training Junkie. But even then, Training Junkie is an awesome third skill to have. Uh, Charisma to level 8 is perfect. Uh, can't say much about this card other than you did a really good job. And I really like what I see on it. Going into the pitchers now, starting off with your rotation, your ace is Garrett Cole 2019 signature. I wish I had this sig on my Astros team. I have Verlander though, so I guess I can be happy with Verlander. But this is the best starting pitcher for the Astros by far, and you got a crazy two stamina train on him. I ended up getting a two stamina train on my Dodgers team for my Rich Hill, uh, but this is uh, seeing a two stamina tr train is something else. 17 to fastball, 16 velocity and 15 to location. Uh, I really wish I, uh, uh, the fastball was velocity or you, you, it was switched around because man, it would be awesome if you got special training one to velocity, but you still get special training to velocity and location uh, two and three. So I would definitely keep this train. It's hard to pass up on a two stamina train. Uh, in this case, in this scenario, since velocity and stamina or velocity and location are already high, I wouldn't retrain this. This is awesome. Dominant Pitcher winning streak untouchable. I've heard Dominant Pitcher untouchable is okay, but with this caliber of a card, honestly, you can't really go wrong with even a decent gold skill set. With winning streak as the third, he'll do awesome for you. I, man, I can't, I can't, I can't say much about this card other than it's amazing. Two to stamina and seven to break, 17 to fastball, 16 velocity. Amazing job with this card. I can't really critique this at all. It's amazing. Second in the rotation is a Black Diamond Justin Verlander Prime. Not his best year, uh, but looking at the train, 9 to stamina is a bit high. Me personally, my preference, and I think most people would agree in the community that 6 stamina or lower is ideal for an endgame card. In this case, Verlander is an endgame card since it is his Prime. So I would go and retrain this card when you can for less than 6 stamina, uh, as well as trying to get Velocity 1, Location 2, and Break or Fastball as 3rd for special training. Looking at the skills though, you got Control Master, Boss, Dominant Pitcher. So what I would do personally with this skill set, I know a lot of people strategize with this too. I would max out Boss and Dominant Pitcher, then short Control Master. So it would be Control Master level 3, Dominant Pitcher level 7, Last Boss level 8. And then when you retrain, make sure you train for a Dominant Pitcher bonus. It looks like he will easily or more easily get the Dominant Pitcher bonus because he has less break and his velocity and fastball are, or velocity and location are basically the same. So with this card, I would go ahead and retrain for the Dominant Pitcher bonus, which is 15 to Velocity and Fastball, more than Break and Location, and keep the skills, just reset them to go Boss, level 8, Dominant Pitcher, level 7, then Control Master at level 3. I think that would work really well for this card. Now, third in the rotation is a Mike Scott, and this is another card I have on my team as a Black Diamond. Excellent train right here, 5 to Stamina. Would really have liked to see that Fastball special training go to velocity instead but looking at the skills last boss finesse put away pitch so unfortunately even though this is a really good train i would have to suggest a retrain because he does have the finesse pitcher skill um you could also use a blue ticket on put away pitch and try to roll cleaning up your mess which is what i got on my mike scott i have boss a uh, slow starter and cleaning up your mess which is an end game skill set he performs excellently for me and then yeah, definitely go ahead and retrain him for more location and more break. It's not impossible on this card. If you do get enough location and break, you can still get enough velocity to get special training to go to velocity. 
uh, but that would be my suggestion for the train. And then one last thing for the skills, instead of going finesse pitcher level 8, I do think that it is much better to go with last boss level 8, uh, because nerfing the opponent's skills or the opponent's stats will significantly help the pitcher. Increasing a pitcher's stats, uh, such as using ace as a skill, doesn't really help as much if you were to nerf the opposing team's batters or pitchers or vice versa. So that would be my only critique for the skills. Use a blue ticket and then change last boss to level 8 instead of finesse pitcher. Batting, or not batting, but pitching in the 4th spot in the rotation is a Denny McLean. Train looking pretty good here, 8 to stamina, a little bit high. It's borderline, but you could keep it. Looks like you went for a finesse pitcher train with velocity 3rd, location 1, and break 2. And you do have the finesse pitcher skill set with last boss. So, like I said with Mike Scott, the only critique I would have with this card would be to change finesse pitcher level 8 and go last boss level 8 and then use a blue ticket. The train, you could go ahead and retrain it, but for now I think it's okay. One point to stamina or two points extra to stamina won't affect him that much. And if you even if you roll Inning Eater as a third skill on this card, Inning Eater activates with 121 stamina. I know he's in up condition now, but if you do roll Inning Eater, it wouldn't be a bad idea to keep the train that he has. A very nice legend card though. I wish I had more legends on my team. I appreciate this card. It looks really good. Last pitcher in the rotation for the starters is a Don Sutton. 6 to stamina, like to see that. 16 location, 15 to break, for 11 to stam or 11 to velocity. So special training lines up nicely like Denny McLean for finesse pitcher. And again, you went uh, with a finesse pitcher train, finesse pitcher skill set, triple threes, clean up your mess, finesse, untouchable. This card is perfect. The only critique I have is finesse pitcher being level 8. Uh, my clubmates agree, and I know other people do as well. Untouchable level 8. Uh, is broken. It, it works super well. I, I've tried it on my Rick Porcello with Finesse Pitcher Untouchable. He did excellent. And if I believe if you were to retrain, or not retrain, but reskill him to have Untouchable level 8 instead of Finesse Pitcher, he would perform slightly better than he does now. But that's my only critique on this card. Other than that, a beautiful card. Now getting into the bullpen. Christian Javier 2021, one of his best relief pitcher cards. I believe this is his best, it, it is his best relief pitcher card. 7 to stamina, just a little bit high, but you did get the special training to velocity, fastball, and then location. So we'll go velocity 1, fast or uh, location 2, fastball 3. His break's a little low, so it's kind of uh, kind of sad to see that be so low. But you do have a dominant pitcher setup man uh, skill set, and it does appear that he does get the bonus. Uh, 108, he's actually just one short, but if you do special training, he will get the bonus. I would say keep this skill set. It's decent. You would like to see a third skill. Honestly, with the, with the relief pitchers, you do need to be perfect on them, but it's hard. I understand. I'm still working on my relief pitchers, but this skill set will do for now. Like the train, just need to special train him in order to get the dominant pitcher bonus. Second setup man is Kendall Graveman. I also have this card on my Astros team. 7 to stamina, another borderline train, but it's okay. 15 location, 15 break, 11 to velocity. Looks like he went for finesse pitcher. And you have Setup Man and Dominant Pitcher as well. So what, two things you could do here. You could either retrain him and go for a Finesse Pitcher or Dominant Pitcher train. Or you could reskill him and go for a Finesse Pitcher uh, skill set. Uh, I personally would use skill changes instead. Uh, the train is okay and it looks like you've invested a lot into uh, training him. And he does get the Finesse Pitcher bonus. And Finesse Pitcher is far better than Dominant Pitcher uh, according to most... Um, end game players and i would definitely look for a finesse pitcher skill set rather than retrain for a dominant pitcher skill set uh plus you already have javier with a dominant pitcher skill set so you can experiment with both of them and try to land finesse pitcher on graveman that will be my suggestion for him getting into the middle relievers now you have chris davinsky i wish i had this card i have his 19 but it's not his best year another finesse pitcher train with location one break two velocity third and this you do have finesse pitcher fixer and stability I actually have this exact same skill set on my Andrew Miller. He does okay. It's not the greatest, but it, it, it does well enough. And by far, Davinsky is much better than Andrew Miller on my Red Sox team. And I believe since my Miller is so low, he doesn't perform well. But since Davinsky is a much better pitcher and a much better overall, this skill set should work well. My, my Andrew Miller does decent with this skill set. Middle relievers, I'm not too concerned about, and with the skills that he has, fixer, stability, 
and finesse pitcher it's basically set up for uh any tough situation to be thrown into like with runners on base or in a losing game second in your rotation for middle relievers is will harris 2016 i also have this exact same card looks like you went for a dominant pitcher train stamina is a bit high would have liked to seen location get some special training points but you don't have a dominant pitcher skill but you do have fixer and untouchable Cleaning up your mess is an okay third for a relief pitcher. Ideally, you wouldn't want it on him, but he is a middle reliever, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. Train is okay. If you want to get really picky, I would go ahead and retrain him for velocity 1, location 2, and break 3, since break is much lower than fastball. And other than that, I don't have any critiques for middle relievers. I don't worry too much about them, just because I'm already losing, and the chances of me coming back, I think, aren't very high, unless you really want to push for... Uh, a win in that case uh, retrain him and get his skills maxed out third middle reliever ryan presley 2019 not his best year but an excellent card nonetheless 16 velocity 16 location and 11 stamina you get location one velo two fastball three good good train right there finesse pitcher dominant pitcher inning eater dominant pitcher and finesse pitcher are decent on relief pitcher i have it on my brandon workman it does okay inning eater though is not going to do much uh, I assume you're trying to skill him for a closer set or a setup man set. I would definitely want to move him into my setup man set. Uh, personally, if this were my team, I would do that since he is a, such a good card and he is a signature black diamond. So I want to put him in the role that he'll be mostly used in to get the most out of him. So personally, I would keep looking for a skill set that would uh, lean towards being a setup man. That'd be with a setup man skill, winning streak, finesse pitcher, last boss. Uh, any of those skills would do perfect for a setup man and getting him into that setup role is one of the top priorities that you should have in my opinion finally long reliever not going to say much about him roberto ozuna eight to stamina uh looks like he went for a finesse pitcher train giant crusher finesse pitcher clean up your mess good enough for a middle reliever or a long reliever actually uh do look for pitcher's chemistry though since he is a retired card i would go ahead and possibly take him to black diamond then look for pitcher's chemistry later down the line uh I wouldn't use Presley for pitcher's chemistry. He's just too valuable. He's such a good relief pitcher. You're rather uh, better using him in the setup role or closer role. Finally, Billy Wagner, 03, your closer. Love the train. Best train I've seen all day. 2 to stamina, 16 to velocity, 15 to fastball, and 12 to location. Basically perfect. Dominant pitcher, finesse pitcher, winning streak. Um, I would honestly have preferred going finesse pitcher maxed out instead of winning streak but you can experiment with that if you want on your own uh, but either way i think it would work perfect and regardless so just keep the train dominant pitcher is the way to go you do get the bonus and he should be lights out for you in closing situations well that's going to do it for your team court jester i enjoyed reviewing it uh great job just a few retrains here and there and maybe a few skill changes couple greens and blues you could use but as an Astros team, I aspire to get my team to this level one day, and I really appreciate uh, you sending in your requests. Thank you for being so patient. Uh, but with that said, let's move on to the next team, and we'll review that one right now. All right, second team we have today is Mariners Tim. Uh, one of the very few good Mariners teams that I've seen in my career playing this game. Uh, I'm liking what I'm seeing already. A full black diamond team. Even the bench is black diamond. I know you guys can't see it, and George Brett has batter's chemistry. So right off the bat, this team is looking excellent. Let's get into the starting lineup, though. Starting off, batting first is Nelson Cruz 2018. Pretty much, I'm assuming he's soon to retire. He didn't have a great 2022 season, so it's excellent that you got his card. And looking at the train, excellent here. 12 to the right side, 19 to power, 13 eye, 13 contact. Would have liked to seen eye second. That's really the only critique I have here. But you do have the barrel it up skill. Uh, he doesn't hit the bonus, but... What are you going to do about it? You could honestly retrain as much as you want if you have the resources. I would personally do it if you have a plethora of resources. Just going for power one, I2, contact three. Uh, barrel it up, spotlight charisma. Excellent, perfect skill set right here. Uh, wouldn't change a thing about this. Going to charisma level eight is excellent. Love this card. I do have my own Mariners team. Uh, it's my own personal team that I don't make videos on. So I really would like to have my team be like this one day. Anyways, moving on, Brett Boone is your second batter, 2001. I have his signature card, was lucky enough to land it in a signature pack. 
but excellent card here 13 to the right side great train 17 power 16 i for contact now that's what i like to see right there i is low you got second special training points to go to i instead of contact great job right there spotlight batting machine slugger instinct perfect uh other than that <clears throat> the only thing i would critique is batting machine it's not the best but if you change that to charisma then it would be pretty much end game other than i wouldn't worry about that too much though uh, batting machine is a great third skill and i assume this card does incredible in ranked third in the lineup is uh bruce bosch i think that's how you say his name skills are excellent master base thief spotlight slugger instinct master base thief as a third isn't terrible at all Sl slugger instinct spotlight will get him a lot of home runs so if he does get on base master base thief will activate looking at the train though 10 to the right side very few cards that I see with 10 to the right side. So this is a rare train right here. Love to see it. 22 to power is incredible. 14 contact and 11 to I. Only critique is that I is third instead of second. But with that high contact and speed, uh, you do want him to get on base to activate Master Base Thief. So I can see why you went with a contact 2 train. Other than that, excellent card. Uh, can't critique much about this. Black Diamond Signature pretty much perfect third or fourth in the lineup is a wade boggs legend wish i had this on my red Sox team seven to the right side wow i have a seven to the right side train on my blue jays team uh it's incredible when you can get a train like this not gonna lie 18 to power 16 to i 16 to contact uh honestly with contact and i going second or third doesn't really matter because they're so high the main thing is you got power one which is what you did and you're pretty much good to go there slugger instinct pioneer only critique is that you could use a blue ticket uh so whenever you have blue tickets go ahead and use them on fielding specialist and try to land charisma batting machine spotlight and this card is going to be perfect fifth in the lineup is a jay buner 90, 1996 looking at the train okay this train isn't the greatest but i did you go for barrel it up ah, i see okay so you tried going for a barrel, barrel it up train um to be honest it would be better in my opinion if you used greens on this card i know it's not a triple three skill set but it, it it honestly might as well be worth it he's one of the best outfielders i think he's the best uh up there in the top three outfielders for the mariners they don't have that many but i would go ahead and retrain him and then use some green tickets land charisma spotlight or even slugger instinct batting machine wouldn't be a terrible third or terrible skill as well with Pioneer, if you get a combination of any of those, it'd be great. Uh, I would say even Barrel It Up. If you just keep Barrel It Up at level 8 and you retrain him for high power, high contact, and high eye with low speed, I think he would work uh, just as good. But personally, go ahead and I would go ahead and use Green Tickets, Land Batting Machine, Spotlight, Slugger Instinct, or Charisma, and then retrain him for high power, uh, eye second, and then contact third. That would be my suggestion for Jay Buhner. Sixth in the lineup, Daniel Vogelback, 2019. Insane power card, great, great increased distribution. 10 to the right side again. You rarely ever see 10 to the right side twice in a team, and this is beautiful right here. 22 to power, 13 contact. Good job with going contact second since it is lower than I. Rarer that you see cards with low uh, contact and high I, especially for people like Daniel Vogelback. But excellent train. Uh, it's basically perfect. And then the skills, bad ball hitter. Uh, great legend skill i can see you're working on him now go for green tickets on him first i would do that first before you get to jay buner since since volgoback doesn't have any green or any gold, uh, gold skills i would just prioritize him first to get at least one gold skill and then go for greens on jay buner but other than that skill set will be perfected soon enough i can pretty much see that skills i um, mean sorry train is don't touch that it's 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 excellent it's perfect don't don't even need to edit that seventh in the lineup is a kyle lewis 2020 card his best year 10 to the right side again wow okay you're, you're blowing my mind away man this is an incredible team uh rare that you see this 21 to power 14 to i 12 to contact insane right there perfect train and charisma spotlight five tool player great skill set not much i can say other than it's not a triple three but what are you going to do about it? You can get that in probably due time in the next few months. Gene Segura 2018 is 8th in your lineup. I believe there's better shortstops for the Mariners. Maybe a vintage. I'm not too well acquainted with them yet, so I don't know. I'm pretty sure this is Segura's best year with the Mariners, though. 12 to the right side, 20 power, 16 eye, 9 to contact. 
Um, basically a perfect train since his contact is already super high. You wanted to go for that high power and high eye. Uh, only critique here is that the grade increase is at a 61. So I would go ahead and use grade increase reset tickets when you have them available. And skills, spotlight, batting machine, heavy hitter. Definitely a good candidate for blues. Uh, perfect third would be charisma or, spot, or, or slugger instinct. So I would just use a blue ticket on him when you have spares. But I wouldn't use them ahead of... Um, Actually, since it is a triple three set, I would go ahead and use blues on him first since triple threes are what you want to finish. And if you were to use one on anything less than a triple three, it wouldn't be as worth it in my opinion. So prioritize blues on him and then use great increased reset tickets on him and he'll be basically perfect. Ninth in the lineup now is Omar Narvaez 2019. Another 10 to the right side train. 20 to power, 16 contact, 11 to eye. Only critique here is that the eye is low and you, sh you probably could have gone contact third with eye second instead. Uh, and then he could use some skills. If this is a triple three set though, I would keep this, use greens uh, and try to roll charisma spotlight, uh, charisma batting machine, slugger instinct. Uh, so as far as greens and blues go, definitely prioritize Segura first with blues. Then with greens, I would go ahead and do Vogelback first, uh, Narvaez second, and then Buner last. Since Buner is already pretty much max special training and everything, uh, he's pretty much good to go. You can wait. He'll probably still do well for you. But right now you want to make sure these guys get up to par with the other people in the other cards in the lineup. You want to make sure they can perform just as well. So I would go Vogel back with greens first, Narvaez second, Buner third. Now let's get into your starting rotation. Your ace is James Paxton 2017. Excellent Mariners card, very balanced train. Wow, look at that. That's a um, a palindrome train right there. Three to stamina, 13 velocity, 13 fastball, 14 location, 14 break. I've actually never seen that before, which is pretty cool. So it's a finesse pitcher train, and you do get the bonus. And you do have control master finesse pitcher cleaning up your mess. This, I'd imagine, does excellent, and I wouldn't change a thing about it. Um, yeah, can't say much about this card other than it's pretty much perfect. Great job with this card. Excellent train. 3 to stamina is very hard to get. I know from experience. Uh, I applaud you for that card. Second in the rotation is a Justice Sheffield 2020. His best card in the game for the Mariners. 6 to stamina. Borderline for an endgame team, but it, it'll do. I have some 6 stamina trains myself. 19 to velocity. 13 location. 11 to fastball. 8 to break. Special training lines up for a dominant pitcher train. Doesn't look like you get the bonus on any of them though, so you have last boss and cleaning up your mess with Control Master, and that does just fine. So you go for you went for the standard left side train here, 19 velocity, 13 location, which is what I would I would do personally, and I can't argue this is a excellent train, excellent way to maximize your skills. Cleaning up your mess at level three, honestly, it's better than having cleaning up your mess at level seven. I, I honestly don't like it when I get cleaning up your mess at level seven because I think it's better to have skills like dominant pitcher finesse pitcher or even winning streak at level seven so uh, you don't need to change to a triple three set cleaning up your mess as a third is honestly in my opinion just as good as having a triple three legend skill set with dom finesse and boss uh, it should work just as fine in my opinion i could be wrong but that's just my uh two cents third in the rotation is a legend catfish hunter 22 to velocity incredible right there love to see that five to stamina 14 to location a heavy left side train right here and you went with inning eater slow starter and last boss i'm pretty sure inning eater activates at 121 stamina but with last boss at level eight and slow starter this card should perform excellently can't critique much here it's an excellent train maybe you'd want to use blue tickets on this i wouldn't prior prioritize it over your batters though uh, since he is pretty much end game and it is a diamond skill so it will uh, be of some use to him at certain points in the game pretty much the entire game he just won't get that extra bonus with 120 stamina since he doesn't have 120 stamina so later down the line i would use blue tickets on him look for dominant pitcher or finesse pitcher uh cleaning up your mess would be least the least thing that you want untouchable would be an excellent third skill on this though so that's the only critique i have for this card other than that, it's perfected, basically. Fergie Jenkins, 71. 6 to stamina, another great train. 15 to the location, 13 to break, 12 to velocity. Special training lines up nicely. Finesse ball, finesse ball. Fireballer, finesse pitcher, power pitcher. Great skill set here. 
Uh, I would keep the train. It's a very balanced train and it will help him get S tier pitches. Uh, looking at the skills though, uh, if you do land last boss, I would go ahead and use blue tickets is, is what I'm saying. Uh, you would go ahead and use blue tickets on this. Power pitcher, change it to something like last boss, dominant pitcher, untouchable, cleaning up your mess. Any of those skills would be perfect. If you do get last boss though, I would do I would personally make a change and go with last boss level 8 instead of finesse pitcher. I'm sure you would agree. But last boss level 8, it's better to nerf the opposing batter's skills. That way you give a better advantage to your pitcher. It's better than increasing his own stats because that could be easily nerfed by charisma. Fifth in the starting rotation is another legend, Gaylord Perry. Another 5 stamina train, another red left side train with 21 to velocity and 13 to location, 10 to fastball. Last boss, stability control master. Stability is not a terrible third skill. So for your starters, what I would do is for blue tickets, um, prioritize Fergie first since power pitcher is not the greatest silver skill. It'll do decent. Then I would prioritize Gaylord Perry and then finally go with Catfish Hunter. Uh, don't prioritize him over Segura though. Segura is, you know, it's you need to solidify that batting lineup. It's honestly your preference though. If you want to go pitchers first with blue tickets or batters, I know people say pitching is the most important thing in this game, but with having legends and triple three skills, I think they will do just fine and you can mac you you can um complete your batting order first uh, before you get to your rotation because your rotation is basically perfect other than getting blues to change some skills on these legend pitchers but excellent starting rotation let's get into the bullpen now starting off in your setup role is jj puts 07 black diamond card three to stamina again just excellent just baffling right now man i'm loving looking at these cards man they're so amazing 20 to velocity 12 to location 11 to fastball bullpen day great job prioritize greens on him when you have enough and try to land setup man, uh, last boss, finesse pitcher, dominant pitcher, any of those skills. Even winning streak would be excellent with bullpen day. Great job with this card. Second setup man, D Dominic Leone, 2014, four to stamina here. Excellent. 18 to velocity, 13 to location, 12 to fastball. Then the skills, control master, stability boss. I wouldn't change it. Uh, control master could be better for a bullpen day, but. I think Control Master does well in the bullpen, and Last Boss at level 8 should give him a significant advantage, even though he is a normal card. Great job. Getting into the middle relief role, Paul Seawall, 2022. I'm not sure if his 21 card is better. It might be. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this might be his best year. 15 to location, 14 to break, 13 to velocity, 7 to stamina. A little bit high, but can't say much. It's pretty much perfect, other than 1 stamina more. Vanessa, Pitching Machine Boss good for a middle reliever uh he can hold down the uh, he can hold back the floodgates if you know what i mean uh from the opposing team scoring when you're losing so perfect skill set other than that if this were a triple three set it would be better but uh it is what it is and it's basically good enough the way it is now and now hung chi quo a non-team card in the middle relief role seven to stamina 15 location 14 to break 13 to velocity another finesse pitcher train you have dominant pitcher and finesse pitcher all right and you do get the finesse bonus so he's a non-team card i don't know if the mariners have any better relief pitchers that you could include into this rotation but what i would do is just keep him the way he is his train is excellent as far as um the bonus goes and as far as getting low stamina it's okay uh but he's a non-team card so don't invest too much more into him i'm pretty sure you understand this so i would keep him the way he is and then replace him with a better relief pitcher once they once the Mariners get a better relief pitcher if they don't have one already. Third middle reliever is Chris Sadler. 7 to stamina, 16 to location, 13 to break, 12 to velocity. Ba boss and finesse pitcher, 3 for 5 specialist. Great for a middle relief pitcher. Uh, can't really critique much about this. It's pretty much perfect. And as the third middle reliever, you wouldn't worry about him too much. Since he won't really often come into games. Then in your long relief role, AL Adams. I assume he has pitcher's chemistry. He has an excellent train though. So you went all out on every single pitcher that you have, and he does. He has pitcher's chemistry. Wouldn't worry about this card one bit. He'll suit you just fine in the long relief role. Finally, your closer, the best closer in Mariners history, Edwin Diaz, 4 to stamina, 20 to velocity, 11 to location, and pretty balanced overall across the board besides velocity, which is a good thing, a very good thing. Mess, winning streak, setup man. Only critique here is that Mess is at level 8, 
and it could be a better gold skill. But with winning streak and setup, man, if he does allow a runner on base, he should shut down the door. He sh it shouldn't be a problem at all for him. So I wouldn't change the skill set. I wouldn't use blues, uh, but I would just leave him as is because I know he does excellent for you. With all that said, that was a mouthful. That was a lot to go over. Just an excellent team overall. I'm so sorry I wasn't able to get to this team sooner, um, but I think I'm glad I kind of waited. I don't think it was as good as it it was before when I when you first requested, but I enjoyed reviewing your team, bro. Thank you for sending in the request. Now let's move on to the final team in today's video. All right, the last team we have today is Los Brovos Champs, and he runs a Atlanta Braves S set deck with a Diamond S set deck, and he's also a free-to-play team. So I love reviewing free-to-play teams, uh, impressive ones at that, and by the looks of it, this team is pretty solid looking all throughout. Going and starting off with the leadoff batter, Ozzy Albies, 2019, 73 base overall, train, 14 to the right side, borderline, but you did get all the special training to the left side, so I would give this train an A. 19 to uh, power, 13 to I, 11 to contact, and then looking at the skill set, barrel it up, slugger instinct, innate over yet. Uh, he does not get the barrel it up bonus, uh, but you did go with it at level 8. I personally would have gone with slugger instinct at level 8. Uh, you could also use some blue tickets on him and see if you can roll charisma or batting machine. In that case, if you do roll charisma, I would go with charisma level 8 uh, instead of barrel it up. And if you end up rolling something like Batting Machine, I would still go ahead and switch Barrel It Up to level 8 and put Slugger Instinct at level 8 instead. Other than that, this is a perfect card. Great job at getting I second since it is lower than Contact and Power. This is a great leadoff card. Great start to your team. Second in the lineup, a Ronald Acuna Jr. 2019. Pretty sure his 20 year is his better year. Correct me if I'm wrong, I think. I'm not too well acquainted with Braves teams. 14 to the right side. 18 to I, great job with getting I1 since it is so much lower than power on contact. 15 to power, 10 to contact, and looking at the skills, charisma, spotlight, prediction. Prediction is an underrated third skill. Keep this skill set. Prediction will get him on base a lot, it will decrease the pitcher's stamina. Charisma spotlight will have him hit a lot of home runs. So just finish special training him. The train is good enough. It could be definitely worked upon in the future, but for now, this is a solid second hitter in your lineup. Third in the lineup is a Donaldson 2019, 14 to the right side, 17 to power, 14 to contact, 12 to I. Uh, I is a bit higher than contact, so I can see why you went uh, uh, contact second instead of I. Personally, I would have gone I second anyway, but it'll do well for now. He's a black diamond, charisma level 8, spotlight level 7, ready crusher level 4. Now, the only critique with this is that it's not a black diamond skill set and it's not a triple three. But Charisma level 8, Spotlight level 7 will have him do excellent anyway. So you could definitely look for a Black Diamond skill later down the line, but that's only if you have enough premium skill change tickets, and there may be other cards in this lineup that you could prioritize. Fourth in the lineup is a Marcelo Zuna 2020. 14 to the right side again, so very consistent with your trains. 14 to the right side on pretty much every single card so far. 17 to power, 15 to eye, 11 to contact. Special training lines up pretty much perfectly. And then your skills, Charisma, Slugger Instinct, Hawkeye. Same thing as Donaldson. You could go for a Black Diamond skill set. It's not a triple three set. Uh, it could definitely be improved upon. But since you are a free to play team, resources are limited, I understand. So whenever you have those resources, feel free to use them on your Black Diamonds. Fifth in the lineup, Austin Riley 2022. Uh, excellent train again. 16 to power, 14 to eye, 13 to contact. Special training lines up the way it should. Again, 14 to the right side. Love the consistency. Charisma, Slugger Instinct again. And pretty much with all your skills, you've been pretty consistent with Slugger, Charisma, Slugger Spotlight. And yeah, this is another excellent card. 2022, not sure if this is his best year, but if you if you know of a better card that Riley has, he could be improved upon, but it would only be a minor improvement unless he has an insane 2023 season. He's going to be playing for a long time more to come. So we'll see. But for now, I would definitely keep this card the way it is. Don't change the skills. He's excellent. Sixth in the lineup, Andrew Jones 05, one of the best outfield cards in the game. Uh, 15 to the right side this time. And since he has high power, you did go for a low power train. Personally, oh, since he, he has the barrel it up skill. Okay, I see why. So with this card, with Andrew Jones, I, I personally prefer training a player to his strengths than training him to his skills. 
because the skills or skilling a player to his strengths and training a player to his strengths. So what I mean by that is you want to train this player for high power and high eye since his eye is low. And the way you want to skill this card because he has high power is even though Charisma Barrel It Up is a good skill set, you do want to give him Spotlight, Charisma, Slugger Instinct, or Batting Machine. Any of those four skills are adding to his strengths, which is power and eye. With high power, he's going to hit a lot of home runs already. With Slugger Instinct, Charisma, and Spotlight, and even Batting Machine, he's going to even hit He's going to hit even better with those skills. So for this card, I would retrain him for a high, high power train. Go for 14 or less to the right side like you've done with all your other cards already. And then with Charisma, barrel it up, reskill this for Charisma, Spotlight, Slugger Instinct, or Batting Machine. Any of those skills would do perfect. That's what I would say for Andrew Jones. Seventh in the lineup is a Dansby Swanson 2022. Pretty sure this is his best overall year. But he does get a lot of great increased points taken away by that high fielding. Just beware of that. 12th to the right side. Best train to the right side so far though. And it's good that you did because he needs more contact and power with those great increased points taken away to fielding. 18 to power. 14 to, con or 14 to eye. 13 to contact. Great job with that right there. Charisma Slugger Instinct. It ain't over yet. And the way you've slotted him in the lineup, I think the skill set works perfectly for where he is batting 7th. 8th in the lineup is a Freddie Freeman 2021. One of his better years with the Braves. 15 to the right side. A borderline train, but he's a black diamond, so I would go ahead and retrain him when you have the points to do so. 14 or less is ideal. But one point's not going to hurt you too much, um, so it's up to you if you want to do that or not. Personally, I would since I have resources, but if you have the resources, feel free to do so. 20 to power, 11 to eye, and 11 to contact. Uh, the special training lines up a little, not like how I like it, but I is high enough already, so I wouldn't complain too much about this. It's still an excellent train. Charisma Slugger Instinct, it ain't over yet. Just like Dansby Swanson, excellent place to put him in the lineup. He is a black diamond though, so when you have the premium skill change tickets, definitely look for Pioneer or Bad Ball Hitter on any of your black diamond hitters, and they will do just amazing. Last in the lineup, Kurt Suzuki 2017 catcher's card. I think Travis Darno may have a better catcher's card for the Braves, um, but I may be wrong about that. Uh, he could use an upgrade though. Uh, Kurt Suzuki is a 65 base and you did get a pretty decent train with 16 to the right side. Uh, I would look for 14 to the right side like I said, but special training lines up, which is the important thing. 16 to power, 13 to eye, and 12 to contact. With this card, personally, I would go I1, contact 2, or I1, power 2, contact 3. Uh, I is so low and he's probably not going to get on base a lot with that low I. Even with that train, last boss is going to nerf this to below 80 and he's probably not going to perform well. So you may want to retrain this in the future. He's last in your lineup though. His skills are decent. A specialist is a good third skill to have on a card that is a low overall such as Suzuki. So maximize this skill set. He'll perform well with the skills. But if you get a better train with higher eye, I think he would perform better for you. That's how, what I have to say about Suzuki. And then you have Duvall on the bench with Batter's Chemistry, which I love to see. Batter's Chemistry, it benefits your team so much. I didn't know this until I actually got Batter's Chemistry. Great job getting Batter's Chemistry. And it'll definitely improve the performance of all your batters in the lineup despite their trains. But with those improved trains and with those improved skills, they'll do even better. Now getting into the starting rotation, you have an Ian Anderson 2020 card as your ace. One of the best starting pitchers. Would love to see you get Spencer Strider's 2022 card. That would be incredible. But 6 to stamina, 15 to location, 13 to velocity, 16 to break. Looks like he went for a finesse pitcher train right here. And holy cow, that's a... Wow. Okay. Finesse, cleaning up your mess. Boss, that's not easy to do on a free-to-play team. You rarely see triple three gold skill sets on any free-to-play teams. Keep this train the way it is. Only critique is that break is first instead of location, but I'm not going to say anything more than that. It's excellent. Special training lines up the way you want it to, and the skills are baffling. I can't say anything. This is a perfect card right here. Just finish that train to level 20, and then you'll be good. Actually, actually, since you haven't trained him to level 20 yet, oh, this is perfect. I would finish this train to location, one velocity. Um, actually... I'm not going to be able to do the math right now, but in order to get the finesse pitcher bonus, you're probably going to have to go with three location. Um, but if you just do that, 
correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, if anybody, if you're watching this, but if you go with all location, I think you'll get the finesse pitcher bonus once you do the special training. But excellent card. Just keep him the way he is. Beautiful job. I can't I can't applaud you more. Julio Tehran 2016. No longer in the game. Three to stamina. Great job. Three to stamina is not easy to get. 18 of location, 15 of velocity, 14 of break, and his skills. Fireballer last boss. Great job. As a free-to-play team, this is basically perfect. You don't need to re really train, retrain anything. Don't change anything on him. Keep him the way he is. He's a mainstay in your lineup for a long time to come. Just one thing to say, though. Way, way down the future. When you don't need to use blue tickets on triple three sets, go ahead and use a blue ticket on Golden Pitcher and try to land cleaning up your mess or another gold skill. Cleaning up your mess would be ideal, though, since it is a level 3 skill and it can't be maxed out anymore. That's all I have to say about the second starting pitcher. Getting into your third starting pitcher is a Max Freed. Don't think this is his best year. Pretty sure 20 and 21 are better. 6 to stamina though, 15 of location, 12 velocity, 14 to break, finesse pitcher train, and you do have a finesse pitcher skill set. Excellent job right there. Giant Crusher is not a bad third since he is a normal card either. So great job with that card. Yusker Yanoa is your fourth starting pitcher, seven to stamina. Looks like he went for a dominant pitcher train here. And you did, dominant pitcher, last boss. All right, and you do get the, the bonus with the 15 more to velocity and fastball. Seven to stamina is a bit high, but I don't think he's the greatest starting pitcher for the Braves. Like I said, you could definitely replace him if you pull Spencer Strider or uh, some other good Braves Starting pitcher, who knows? You may even get Greg Maddox if you're lucky enough. But with that, I would go ahead and keep him in the lineup as long as you can for now. And then replace him with a better starting pitcher. Uh, but let's get into this next starting pitcher we have, Kershaw. I would keep him the way he is. Uh, just the train. 16 of velocity, 15 of fastball, 6 to stamina. Excellent job with this card. Dominant pitcher train. And you have dominant pitcher untouchable. But Kershaw is not a team card. So what I would do here with the rotation... Yanoa and Kershaw are clearly your worst starting pitchers. I believe they do excellent for you, but you're probably going to want to look to get them replaced with better Atlanta Brave starters. So what I would do is replace Kershaw first when you get a better starting pitcher for your or a better team starting pitcher, whether that be Strider, Maddox, whoever. Replace Kershaw first, and then once you replace Kershaw, find, uh, look to replace Yanoa with a better starting pitcher. Uh, it's not the greatest overall, and his skill set is going to do well, but you just want to look to improve your team as much as possible. As a free-to-play team, you want the best cards in your rotation. With that said, let's get into the bullpen now. Raleigh Fingers, Legend Relief Pitcher, 6 to Stamina, 17 to Location, 13 Velocity, 12 to Break, Fireballer, Untouchable, Giant Crusher. Would use some blue tickets on Giant Crusher, look for Setup Man, Winning Streak, a Finesse, Dominant Pitcher, or Last Boss, and this card is basically perfect. Fireballer is an excellent skill. And the train can't say much about this. It's beautiful. You could look for pitcher's chemistry on this. I, I would do that later down the line. But since you rolled Fireballer already, keep it the way he is. Use some blues if you want to. Look for last boss, finesse, dominant pitcher, and he'll be endgame. Second setup man is AJ Minter. 2018, his best card for the Braves. 5 to stamina, 16 location, 12 velocity, 14 to break. Finesse pitcher train right here. And you do have Finesse Pitcher and Last Boss. Excellent skill set right there. Would look for Setup Man. Setup Man's honestly a must-have on any Setup uh, setup Relief Pitcher. Uh, especially since Last Boss and Finesse Pitcher. Uh, Last Boss sometimes gets nerfed. And as Relief Pitchers, uh, as far as they go, with the low stamina they have, they can get clobbered pretty easily if they get nerfed. So I would just be worried about that. Look to change him maybe in the future. Getting into your middle relievers though, Mark Melanson 2019, his only SIG with the Braves, 4 to stamina, great train right here, 17 to location, 15 velocity, 12 to fastball, and then fixer untouchable boss, perfect middle relief skill set. Uh, I would honestly max fixer instead of untouchable, untouchable is not known to do well on relief pitchers, but if this does good, good enough for you, I would keep it the way he is, and don't change a thing, this card is the perfect middle relief pitcher. Second middle reliever is a non-team card, Heath Bell. Uh, prime card, 7 to stamina, 16 location, 16 to break, and 10 to velocity. Finesse, untouchable, and boss. So see like how this skill set is here? I would have personally done that with Merlanson. Boss, fixer, and then untouchable. But Heath Bell is not a team card. 
It looks like he performs well based on his skills and based on his train, so keep him in the lineup as long as you can until you can pull another Braves relief pitcher that will replace him in the future. You have a Sam Bedrosian right here, vintage card, 6 to stamina, 20 to velocity. Incredible right here. One of the best relief pitchers in the game, honestly, with those base stats. 13 location, 12 fastball, special training lines up perfectly, and by far, you're definitely getting the last, uh, the dominant pitcher bonus, and stability is not a terrible third skill set. So he's the last middle reliever. He'll do excellent for you, honestly, as a black diamond. You could look for pitcher's chemistry on him too, since he is in the back of the middle relief role. Um, honestly, if you do get a better skill set though, I think this might be a better skill set than Boss Finesse. Uh, just because he's a black diamond. Boss Finesse is by far better than Dom and Boss, but because Minter is lower overall and Bedrosian is higher overall, uh, the comparison between the cards, Bedrosian, in my opinion, would do better in that role. But it's your team, you know best. That would just be my suggestion. Finally, you have Chris Martin, 2020, in the long relief role. This is an excellent train for a long reliever, I'm going to be honest. 3 to stamina, and then touchable, mess, finesse pitcher. I wouldn't change anything about him. Just keep him the way he is. And then once, once you get a black diamond, or once you get batter's chemistry, or sorry, once you get pitcher's chemistry on one of your relief pitchers, I would move them into the long relief role, and then Martin is honestly good to be used in pretty much any setup position, middle relief position, not the closer role, I wouldn't put him in the closer role, but once you get pitcher's chemistry, move Martin out of the long relief role, put whoever has pitcher's chemistry into the long relief role, and then utilize Martin somewhere else in the lineup. Finally, closing pitcher is Craig Kimbrell, 2013 prime, 3 to stamina, excellent again, 20 to location, 12 to velocity, 13 to break. Finesse, winning streak, put away pitch. Only critique is that put away pitch is the third scale, but with finesse and winning streak, he will be lights out. He will close games down for you. Shouldn't allow too many home runs. Shouldn't allow a lot of base runners at all. With that being said, excellent team, bro. Love reviewing it. It's always fun to see good free to play teams that have excellent cards. With all that being said, though, I appreciate you sending your request in. And now let's get into the outro. Alright guys, well that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like down below. If you want to be part of the showcasing series, don't forget to leave a like on this video down below, to subscribe to the channel, to comment down below your team name, and I'll try my best to put you down on my list if I have the time. And last but not least, don't forget to send a in-game friend request to my account, 2018 Fireballs. But with all that said and done, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you all in the next video.